Lao Naga's rugby team, along with Lao Rugby Federation, held a press conference on their recent achievements and plans for the future of the Lao rugby in Vientiane capital. After a fresh return from Hong Kong with remarkable achievements in the Abacus Kaolan Rugby Festival, the Lao Rugby Federation held a press conference at the Lao Journalists Association to inform the media of their accomplishments in the international rugby stage. The press conference was hosted by head of the Lao Journalists Association and advisor to the Lao Rugby Federation, Som Sanuk Misai, Lao Rugby Federation President Virayut Ratikun, Lao Naga's team members and coaches and media personnel. According to the Lao Naga's team captain, Bi Sa Vong Lun Ping, he is pleased with the result this year as the Federation has new members in the team this year that has never competed internationally before, and they have done a good job. The greatest achievement that the Federation accomplished in Hong Kong was to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with great rugby teams from Australia, Malaysia, and Singapore, beating them to gain their 11th place position out of the 24th, a great improvement from last year's 15th out of 20th place. Team captain Pisa also mentioned, in addition to competing, we went to watch other tournaments to gather knowledge, experiences, and new fans while conducting outreach activities by passing out brochures and stickers with information of Lao Rugby and the Lao PDR to spectators at the tournaments. The Lao Naga's team captain, Bi Sa Vong Lun Ping, also thanked all the people and businesses who made the Silver Heritage Limited Lao Naga's tour to Hong Kong possible. He said, from now the Federation will focus on efforts in the training to prepare the men's national team for the HSBC Asian Five Nations Division Four competition in Dubai, United Arab Emirates from the 6th to the 11th May 2013 where they will face Pakistan in the first round and either Uzbekistan or Lebanon in the second round. Before we conclude, Australia Awards scholarships are now available for TAFE, undergraduate, master's, and PhD studies. Application packs available at Scholarship Office, Vientiane College, the Ministry of Education and Sports, and Provincial Education Services. Applications must be submitted by 5 p.m. and deadline is the 24th of May 2013. Further information on eligibility criteria and how to apply, please refer to the website at www.lao-australischolarships.com. And that concludes our today's news edition. I'm Siri Ponsu Tamavong and the news team here from Vientiane Capital. Thank you very much for watching. Until we meet again, goodbye for now.